Hey folks, this is going to be an interesting video. I'm going to discuss something interesting and but we take it for granted. You know, we don't have one universal way to tell time on Earth. Each month has different name depending on the country, languages and religious observances. To understand the significance of a calendar, where some use the moon while others use sun. This video is not going to elaborate the origin of calendar system, but will focus on some interesting facts that we take in for granted. It is always interesting to discuss something we observe daily, the calendar, date and day. In the process, I have brought religious faiths and how it influenced on humanity. There are roughly more than 40 different calendars used around the globe. Many countries and religions have their own calendars to track their days, months and years. However, I want to discuss three of the most commonly used in our planet. First is lunar calendar. This calendar tracks time using the monthly cycles of the moon's phases. It measures the time between one new moon to the next. Second, the solar calendar. This calendar is based on a solar year, which is the time it takes for Earth to rotate around the sun. It measures time between vernal equinoxes. Lastly, lunisolar calendar. As name sounds, it uses both the moon phases and the time for solar year to track time. Throughout the history of time, each country and religion has used one of lunar solar or lunisolar calendar. Now let's dive in to the fun part. Just a reminder to please subscribe to the channel. Please press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload a new video. Please like this video and tell us why you liked it in the comments below. Also remember to share it with anyone and everyone because this is information that is very important to know. Now, let's get into the video. What are the primary differences between the lunar and solar approach of determining a year? A lunar year is based on the time it takes our moon to go through each of its phases. New moon, half moon, and full moon. Astronomical observers call it waxing and the waning of the moon. A waxing moon is a moon that gets more sunlight on it as the days go by. It will appear more illuminated. Waxing means that it is growing. This happens after we experience a new moon up to a full moon. A waning moon is after the full moon and will remain waning until we again experience a new moon. Our moon takes roughly one month to orbit Earth. To be more precise, the waxing and waning new moon to new moon takes 29.5 days, while it takes 27.3 days to complete a revolution. As the moon completes each 27.3 day orbit around Earth, both Earth and the moon are moving around the sun. So a lunar year is 354 days, 29.5 days to change from new moon to new moon, waxing to waning, 12 months in a year. This means there is an extra month every three years. A solar year is the time it takes for the Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun. We simply say Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun. If you want to know the real time, Earth revolves around the Sun in 365 days, 5 hours, 59 minutes, and 16 seconds. This means an extra day added in the month of February every four years. We call it a leap year, 366 days instead of 365. Fun facts. Earth is about 4.56 billion years old. Earth's orbit of the sun is not a circle, but an ellipse. Earth orbits the sun at an average distance of 149.60 million kilometers. For my USA friends, it's about 92.96 million miles. In a counterclockwise direction, as viewed from above the Northern Hemisphere, one complete orbit takes 365.249 days, during which time Earth has traveled 940 million kilometers or 584 million miles. One more interesting fact 
is Earth's orbital speed averages 107,208 kilometers, or 66,616 miles per hour, which is fast enough to cover the planet's diameter in seven minutes and the distance to the moon in four hours. Calendars used by major religions. The Christian calendar was established in the year 1582. The type of calendar observed is solar, also known as a liturgical or ecclesiastical calendar. The Christian calendar is used to commemorate certain religious days and seasons. Christmas is celebrated for 12 days instead of one, which is why we get the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. The Catholic calendar is known as the Gregorian calendar. Pope Gregory XIII in Rome wasn't a huge fan of the Julian slash solar calendar. So, in order to spread Catholic ideas, he introduced the Gregorian calendar in 1582. This moved New Year's Day from April 1st to January 1st. Surprisingly, his main motivation was to make sure that everybody was celebrating Easter on the correct day. Now, the Gregorian calendar is used by most of the countries all around the world. He was the ruler of the Papal State from the year 1572 to 1585 until his death. The Islamic calendar is also referred to as Hijri. This calendar was established in the year 622, and the type of calendar used is lunar. Islamic or Muslim faith uses the Hijri calendar to track time. It is like the Gregorian calendar since it has 12 months. Only these are broken into sacred months and non-sacred months. There are also no leap months or days to account for the difference in length of a solar year. As mentioned before, if we follow the lunar calendar, then the number of days in a year is actually 354. The Jewish Calendar This calendar was established in around 70 BCE. The type of calendar used is lunar. The Hebrew or Jewish calendar is still used in Israel today. Like other religious calendars, it's used to denote sacred holidays and other important dates. It also provides a time frame for agriculture, so crops like wheat, corn, avocados, and mangoes can be grown in the appropriate seasons. The Buddhist calendar. This calendar system was established around the year 544 BCE. The type of calendar used is lunisolar. There are seven countries in Southeast Asia that use the Buddhist calendar. Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Singapore. This calendar is derived from the Hindu calendar and is broken into 12 months with 29 or 30 days. It's used to keep track of important religious observations. The Hindu calendar. This calendar system predates to Vedic times. The years based on Vedic scriptures predate to over the year of 1250 BCE. The type of calendar is lunisolar. The Hindu calendar is based on Panchanga or Panchangam in Tamil and has been used in India for thousands and thousands of years. For example, in South India and Sri Lanka, the Tamil and Sinhalese celebrate New Year every April 14th, and this won't change like Christmas. Similarly, the festivals like Daipongal, a harvesting celebration, always fall on January 14th. However, Deepavali, Navaratri, Shivaratri, and Holi, a festival of color, follows Luna Solar. Therefore, these festivals will fall on different days. Now, let's conclude this video. I believe the ancients across the world were using some form of calendar. For example, the hunter-gatherers during the days were looking for food, day-to-day -day activities, while in the dark, resorted to 
caves to survive. When humanity started to farm, they evolved from thinking long term with regards to so water and harvest. So simply looking for day and night won't help. They needed to incorporate seasons. Obviously, there was no clock 7000 BCE, but they were able to create calendar by looking at the sky. Our sun became an awesome timekeeper. Their daily observation of the sun and night sky helped to determine 365 days a year and 12 hours of day and night. However, with farming, they needed shorter time than a year. So they started to add moon to the observation. Continuous observation helped them to determine approximately 30 days to orbit Earth. So it became a month. Time Earth goes around the sun is 365 days. While moon would have orbited 12 times around its companion Earth. So 12 months make one year. Is it really? We know lunar days and solar days do not happen. Lunar year is 354 days. That is 29.5 days to orbit Earth times 12 months. Therefore, we have 11 days short compared to a solar year 365 days. Fun fact. Ramazan fasting and Eid Mubarak changes every year by 11 days because of Hijri lunar calendar. Arabs were way ahead in mathematics and they completely ignored sun-based solar calendar. Therefore, Arabic calendars will be always 354 days. Now, when you come to certain parts of India, South Indians and Tamils, Bengalis and Punjabis, they followed strictly solar calendars, which is why Thai Pongal, Makar, Sankaranti, New Year all falls on the same day of the year. The Western world was struggling with calendar system for a long period of time. Solar calendar approach started to give issues too. This was resolved by Pope Gregory XIII, who added an extra day every four years to correct the solar calendar. So every leap year, we have 366 days to offset precise Earth orbit of Sun 365 days, 5 hours, 59 minutes and 16 seconds. Now, all over the world, everyone follows Gregorian calendar. But when it comes to religious activities, many follows lunar calendar. This is why we have Eid. Diwali, Yom Kippur, varies in time. Before I end the video, I want to address one of the ancient temples of India. This is mind boggling. There is a temple known as Konak Sun Temple in India, in the state of Odisha. Conceived as a giant stone chariot with 12 wheels, it is the most famous of the few sun temples built in India. These 12 pairs of wheels on its sides imitate as the chariot in which sun rides across the sky each day. Please note that these 12 pairs of wheels represent 12 months of the year. This temple was built by King Narashim Adeva between the years of 1238 and 1264. Konak temple has withstood several attacks during 14th and 15th centuries by foreign invaders. At its present state, it was declared by UNESCO a World Heritage Site in the year 1984. Since many portions are now in ruins, what remains of the temple complex continue to draw not only tourists but also pilgrims. Konak stand as a classic example of ancient temple architecture, complete with a colossal structure, sculptures, and artwork on myriad themes. I hope you like this video. We'll post something unique in my next video. Thanks for watching. Please share it with my friends and family. Thank you.